Marks 20 years since a tornado outbreak in the Ozarks. The Twisters hit on May 4th, 2003. Of the 15 tornadoes in Missouri, 11 passed through the Ozarks that Sunday evening. One of the strongest tornadoes in EF3. It started near Ritchie, went through Pierce City and Battlefield before it lifted outside Springfield. As that tornado went through Battlefield, it went over Fire Station Number 1 and the Fire District Headquarters. Now, no one got hurt, but the Fire Protection District had to be rebuilt. The station that was rebuilt is prefab concrete and reinforced and much more susceptible or sustainable in uh, the event of a storm that would, would come through and cause damage up to the glass that they used even in the building. The fire station also has a shelter inside for staff on duty. Moore says some rebuilt homes added storm shelters during construction. High school students considering a future in health care will soon have a chance to jumpstart their career. OTC's Career Center is launching an emergency medical technician program this fall. It's open to high school juniors and seniors. Students will spend half of their day on campus doing coursework while also getting clinical training. We actually had a lot of interest uh, in developing this career center program um, because of our advisory committee asking for it. They see this as a good opportunity for those students to start at a young age and then they can kind of get in that career field and then and continue either in the paramedicine profession or take another pathway in the healthcare field. Well, the program's director says they'll prepare students for real world situations with ambulance models, mannequins and actors, as we saw there a second ago, to simulate serious injuries and illnesses. New at five, Springfield City Council is in the middle of a uh, seven budget committee meetings, seven of them. They're going to wrap up with a new budget by June 5th. The city will most likely have an operating budget of around $495 million. That would be a jump of about $50 million from last year. Joe Hickman has a look at what's driving that increase. The Springfield City Council with its three new members heard a positive review of the city's revenue stream today as so far this year the money coming in is a 10 percent increase above what we had budgeted for the year. The main driver for the revenue increase is the sales tax which has gone up significantly since the COVID-19 lockdown that shut down businesses. Sales and use tax revenue make up a big chunk of the city's general fund, there on the right, 62.8%. And when you compare that with other cities in Missouri, look at the green part of the graph here, you'll see that Springfield depends on sales and use tax revenue more than any other city except Joplin at 68%. Sales tax can be volatile. It can grow fast, which is good during good years. So we're seeing that right now. Uh, but it can also go down pretty fast and cause a problem in the middle of a budget year. You know, like in 2008 when there was a significant downturn,